Fritz Niedholt works away like a housefrau. The film record of the Premier's visit to the States included his meeting with the President and the Secretary of State at the White House. Together with Truman and Mackenzie King, he paid tribute on Armistice Day at the Arlington Cemetery. As for the talks with the President on such very hush-hush matters as the problem of atomic power, these were held in complete secrecy on board the yacht Sequoia. And, of course, there was the Premier's address to Congress. I think the extract we give sums up the theme of his speech. We believe that the foundations of peace must be world prosperity and good neighbourliness. That where science has placed such potential abundance before the human race, we should collaborate to take advantage of it rather than scramble and fight for a larger individual share which only results in an immense increase in poverty. We recognize that our immediate task is not easy. Many a man in Britain returning from the war finds his home blitzed and his business ruined. He has to start afresh, and it's a tough proposition. As a country, we're just like that man. We went all out to win the war, and now have to start afresh. Like him, we are facing the future with courage and determination to win through. We have not stood up to our enemies for six years to be beaten by economics. I look forward to an era when increasing cooperation and friendship between the United States of America and Great Britain, the greatest task that faces us today is to bring home to all people before it is too late that our civilization can only survive by the acceptance and practice in international relations and in our national life of the Christian principle, we are all members one of another. <laughs>